Hello everyone. So uh, today I'm going to do something where I'm going to watch the daily challenge run done by the best person on my leadership board. Now in the next series, I'm going to try to do my run like how I did first. And then I'm going to look at the, um, the best one that happened in the daily challenge. But because I can't find the recording of my run for some reason, I am going to just watch the daily challenge run and then I'm going to commentate over it. Now, to be perfectly candid with you guys, what happened is I was watching the daily challenge run for today because after I like totally like whiffed it, I was like, let me watch the best run today. So I watched it and I think I got like up to the second floor or the third floor. And I was like, you know what? This would be a really interesting thing for me to commentate over. So that way I have a recording of how I'm learning more and more about the game and It'd be maybe interesting to other people to see my growth or maybe to see how other people play like high level players. Now, the really cool or interesting thing to know about me is that I love music rhythm games. However, with that being said, I am awful at Crypt of the Necrodancer. The furthest I've ever gone on a run is with Cadence and it's with the fire and ice level. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one where there's the fire and ice theme and it's really open layout. I usually always die somewhere during that. Either during that or during the boss battle when you um, finish the zone. So that's how you know that um, I know about Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I know the basics about Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but I'm in no means an expert by it and I will consider it a complete victory if I'm able to beat a single run of Crypt of the Necro Dancer, regardless of what character I use, except for maybe the monk. I don't really want to count the monk, but I would like to beat the game once as Cadence. Now, with that being said, uh, let's check out Daily Challenge. Oh, and see, it does sh see, show mine. See, so like I ranked 30. Now, I think the run just got released, so, you know, uh, there's a lot of time for my score to be pushed even lower. But just so you can see, I whiffed it really badly today. I only made it to zone 1 level 3. Um, I died to a Minotaur, and it was pretty embarrassing. So let's just watch um, what JT did. All right. So, he got the glass cat and nine tails, which was pretty cool. And then he's just here killing enemies. So I did the same thing. I grabbed the cat and nine tails and I was just like killing all the monsters. Now the difference between him and me is that I actually went up first and I saw the items in the shop and I got really excited. So my goal was to get up to 120 gold so I can buy the stuff that I wanted to from the shop. Uh, what? JT does here is really weird and I don't know why he did this, but he kind of lured the dragon here. I think he wanted the dragon to break um, that space, but I guess since the dragon didn't do it, he blew him up. I think bombs are a really useful resource, so I don't know why he wasted the bomb on the dragon, but maybe someone can tell me. Otherwise, you know, he's just here. He's just killing everything in sight. I killed the dragon with my cat o nine tails. But here, see, I got excited about the um, dagger of phasing. I bought the dagger of phasing and the other item, not the teleportation one. And I was really excited because I thought the dagger would let me phase through walls, but apparently it doesn't do that. Um, I also didn't kill the shopkeep here. When I played, I got the weapon and just the weapon. The electric dagger. And I ran through the rest of the zone with the electric dagger. This guy, however, has like his teleportation crown, which I now know is much better than the dagger, the phasing dagger. And um, that's really cool. So here he is uh, knocking things out. I don't know what item he has. It's like a little question mark with confetti around it. I don't know what it does. I'm assuming it's a whip of some sort. When I saw it the first time, I thought maybe with each floor, it kind of changes the effect. So it's like, you don't know what you get each floor. 
but I still have no idea what it does. I'm gonna assume it's a powerful whip. And JT here is just letting himself get beat up. I think he was excited about finding a potion, which is why he was digging up there, but he was pretty upset that he didn't find it, which is normal. I'm just surprised at this high level play that he's letting himself get beat up so easily by everything. Like, I would be freaking paranoid. But he could also be a runner that is pretty good at the game, but not like tier level that I've seen like in the past. I also don't know what the Boots of Pain do, and I wouldn't want to get the Boots of Pain, but for some reason JT got it. Um, maybe it does increase a little bit of strength, but we'll see. Okay, now he goes down to the next floor, he kills everything, because of course he does. And he's demolishing, like, all the enemies. He didn't get the Ring of Pain, but he is killing the shopkeep. And he said no to the shovel. And then he, real he like, broke his armor? I don't know if that was intentional or not. But I think he should have gotten the shovel. But then again, if he got the shovel, he would have probably died. Yeah, because he would maybe take damage from it? I don't know. I've seen like a lot of high level players get the shovel because that's how you get money and that's how you can get a really high score. So we're gonna see what else JT does here. So he got the blast helm. I got that in my previous play too. He's getting the compass, maybe? Okay, he said no to the compass. See, I got the compass and the shield um, spell before I like lost at this level. But he's just destroying everything. Why? I have no idea. And then here's the boss. The little rapper mole thing. So he's just killing stuff. And... Oh, he died. Okay. Interesting. So... The best play is so far one that died. Cool. Well, that's all that uh, I have for today. We'll see if the next uh, top tier play is actually from someone who went down all the way. JT still got further than I did, so technically better player than me. 